We forgot to do an intro. We have this whole scene in the car. So we're doing the intro now. What's the theme, can you? The theme is can Christians date? Uh, no. <laughs> no, they can't. <laughs> God said, no, y'all can't do it. I'm gonna only procreate. Mm. Wow, this orange is good. Mm. Are we going on vacation together? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Vacation, vacation. Vacation? Yeah. Mm. I like the way you talk. Hi! Hello. Am I supposed to be more excited? Yes. Okay. We are on, Hello. We are on vacation. Vacation? Day That's one. So we're calling it vacation. Vacation. Okay, I like that, bae. Me too, bae. Bae? Bae. Oh, you look good. I need to keep my eyes open. Yeah. You distracted me. Focus. Yeah. Okay. Can you just focus on me? Is that what you mean? No? Okay, I'll just, I'll just drive. <laughs> so, we just got done with breakfast. We went to Waffle House. We are on the way to St. Augustine. Anything you want to say? No, we're going to have some fun. I'm gonna give you some verses about journeys. I don't have my Bible verse yet, so don't quote me. I don't either. So we, we need to look that up. It's gonna be kind of hard while I'm driving, so I might have to just go to the old memory bank. Hey guys, walking into... Your destiny, into your purpose. Well, that too. <laughs> we gotta eat first before we grind it out. Ooh. Grind it out for Jesus. We hasn't come yet, so we're gonna do our verse. Yeah, we're gonna do a little segment called Verses. Verses, not the one you're thinking about. Yes. But Bible verses. Bible verses. So, what, do you got your Bible verse? I do. I have my Bible verse. What's your Bible verse be about the journey? We're talking about the journey. So, the one I chose was, I don't wanna say basic, but you know, everyone knows about it. Yeah, that's but. basic. <laughs> it's okay, you're not basic. But I just I feel like no it basic, goes... Girl. I ain't no average chick. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I chose Jeremiah 29 11. Okay. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a help. And I feel like that goes along with the journey because it'd be stressful sometimes and you just be like, Lord, where am I supposed to go? What is supposed to happen? And he's got you. Yeah. He knows the plans for you. And as long as you're seeking his will and you're trying to be in alignment with him, you will be good. I like that. Another angle too would be like, you know the destination you're supposed to get to. And it seems like no matter like the steps that you keep taking, trying to get to that destination, something keeps coming up like a roadblock or you, you know, get off track and your GPS has to recalculate. But as long as you look to God to be your GPS, you're gonna end up right where you're supposed to be because he knows the plans that he has for you. Period. Period. I chose Psalm 91.11, which meant, or it reads, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. So it's just that like protection that God's got you. He's got um he's got like basically like personal bodyguards watching over you, protecting you. Um, and it goes right along with Kenya's verse. So like in his plan, he's already set in that, you know, protection, that security, so that all you gotta do is walk. Walk out your purpose, live in his plan. And God's got you. So that's why I chose that verse. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'll get back to the video. Our food is coming. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, 
Are we doing that? I, I don't know what we're doing. Okay, let's do we that. We're just out here. Back to the video. <laughs> <laughs>